this has been a pretty terrible decade for me in retrospect. A lot of this feeling of dread can be attributed to the issues with depression and self-loathing discussed in my last video. However, I'd argue that even the actual events throughout the decade were similarly dread-inducing. Recently, after the result of a breakup, I found myself questioning my confidence, my seemingly rigid yet vague vision of my future, and whether some types of relationships are simply meant for me to indulge in. Maybe I'm too fragile. Maybe I'm too inconsiderate. Maybe my skin color's just too dark to comprehend right from wrong. Huh? Of course not, I'm black. Ow. I'm always wrong. <laughs> In this time of questioning and introspective reflection, I've really started to become more open with what I'm looking for in life. And I really just want to fuck a bunny girl. Is that too much to ask? But in all seriousness, I have a much better understanding of what I'm actually looking for, what interests me, and what makes me happy. Unfortunately, the answer I've ironically come to is mutual friendships and romantic relationships with other people. And in case you forgot, I like anime, so I'm fucked. But why am I talking about this on an anime channel? Ah, that's a great question you didn't ask because you've already lost interest in this video and are just waiting for me to make a Boku no Hero joke so you can suffocate the dislike button. <laughs> I'm posting this video here because anime has given me a window for this introspection. In my last video, I talked about my disconnect with this medium and my disappointment with its current direction. And while I had a teeny tiny monologue at the end regarding shows I've really enjoyed for their more philosophical, often uncomfortably depressing takes on various aspects of life, I don't feel like I gave enough attention to these shows. As such, I'm going to leave these shows in the description with their respective mal link, my very brief, possibly paragraph long opinion, and a legal streaming site to watch them on. No one is forcing you to click that link. I torrent too, but I don't want to get flagged, so I'm just doing the right thing here. Now, I'll link the legal f streaming site if I can actually find it. I know there are exceptions to this, like I'm going to put uh, now and then here and there somewhere in the description, but I could never find a legal place to watch that. Uh, or King of Pigs in the description, so the only thing I can really tell you is to go look it up on Ya, etc, etc, you get the point. Hopefully in the future I can do videos on these masterpieces, you know, because they gotta be masterpieces, I'm recommending them, I got fucking god taste here. But because they all cover very difficult, harsh topics in a really meticulous fashion, I know I won't be able to, you know, cover a lot of them anytime soon. Last year, I started an Akunohana video script that I trashed four times before <laughs> hitting the maybe I'm illiterate wall and uh, just going back to H anime to relieve my stress. So, yeah, uh, make sure you check out the description. Uh, this decade sucked, simply put, but I learned a lot. And because of it, um, my perspective walking out of the decade is, ironically, much brighter than it is walking in. Uh, watch a couple of these shows and maybe you'll feel the same way. This is Sudi Tootie. I wish you a happy new year, a great 2020, and a decade filled of bunny girl sex and uh, Boku no Hero slander. So yeah, deuces.